See how many can let it hit the water, pop some slack in it, let it sink, hold your rod up. It's important to keep that slack line out of that current. And I'm kind of just like jigging this Joe fly. Because that current's going to spin that blade for you. There he is. There he is right there. There he is. You know. He's in my other line there. Oh man, what a mess. Wind this up. When you find these trout, you can catch them like that. A lot of times I'll pop my bell open, give it some free line, let it sink. It's kind of like trolling. That's why I wanted this seven foot medium action rod. You see how my line is entering the water down there at the entry point. There's none of my other line laying in the current. You know, I can elevate my rod and keep it where I pretty much want it to be, you know. And fish are laying around in a certain spot down there because up here closer, they ain't hitting it. Same principle as trolling, I'm just standing on the bank. You know, there could be a rock pile down there or something they're relating to. There we go. Drop some slack in it. Let her sink. Should be able to catch one of them this round. If you ain't in the right spot, you won't, they won't hit it. Come on. Come here. Come. There's my PB for the year. Lord, how mercy. Look here. Oh my God. Guys, look here. Oh, my line just broke. My God. Whew, Lord, how mercy. My damn line just broke, fellas. My God. Look here, what a fish. Woo wee. Goodness gracious. Look here. God almighty. My line broke as soon as I got him up on these rocks. That Joe fly hanging in his face. Look there, he's got a line in his down his throat. Somebody done hooked him and he broke him off. All right, guys, be back. I gotta get this fish straightened out a little bit. Look here, what a rainbow! Beautiful fish, fellas. Look at that. Beautiful trout. Can't hardly get him in the frame. Now look here. I caught that fish on a Joe fly and somebody had broke their line down his throat right there. He was probably not going to live, you know. Beautiful, beautiful rainbow trout, trophy trout. Amazing. Okay, reset this power bait.
kind of let that drift around a little bit. Damn, guys, I had to regroup. Look laying right there, what a good mess of fish. Looking awesome, man. Killer. See if we can't do it again, I can catch two more. I caught that one right in front of me right here. Probably about two foot under the water right here in front of me. Guys, you ain't even got to crank your handle. Just let that current spin them blades for you. That's all you got to do, man. That current does the rest. <sighs> ain't got a power bait bite, I don't guess. Check the teeth marks, ain't nothing on it. Got a sinker on there. I put that, put a, you know, different color power egg. I put that power egg on there, slide it up on the line like that. Put your power bait on. You know, it don't take a big piece, y'all. You know, put that power bait on there and slide that egg back down there against them. There's that Carolina rig, got about 18 inch sinker. Now here's what you want. You want that sinker to hit the bottom and that power bait to float. If that bait's not floating, then you ain't, that, that it's not helping you. The rig's useless, you might as well put it on the bottom. A lot of people use it and it, their bait ain't floating, so it eliminates the purpose, you know. Throw down there in that current, let it hit the bottom, and I gotta hold my rod up high to keep my slack line out of that current let that sinker roll down through there you can pop your rod every now and then you know let that sinker move but if you throw in that current like that the six foot rod set the rod down all that slack hits the water and it you know you about got to hold your rod really i do anyway most of the time Ugh. Nah, bullshit usually once you find them you know, you can throw about any kind of power bait in there on them. But here's the key now. Here's the key with this rig. And I see all kinds of people, they use it wrong. You can use any color you want. The swivel. And I like to start out with a long leader. Sometimes even two foot. If that's not floating, then it's not right. You know? Let's see if I can find them fish again. Short ass rod, man. It hard to do with a short rod you can't get the slack out switched over to a longer rod here see if it makes a difference getting the hook in them fish I ain't never in my life had that much trouble catching trout on a ball power bait not a big ball bait that's just tiny tiny you know offering to these fish i think one's on there guys yeah there he is there we go First fish on the power bait, and he's got me in my other line over there. Ugh, what a mess. What a mess. Golly. See, a lot of times they'll swallow that power bait. They'll swallow it like that right there. You know, down his throat. That's okay one more closer to to my limit pull that out there all right pretty little rainbow guys toss him up on the bank and keep on trucking i gotta catch one more for my limit see guys i use little pieces just wanting to thunk, 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 peck on it or whatever but I'm going to let him swallow it. Go ahead and get my limb out here. There we go. I 
I probably I should arc turn him loose. What arc do? Really ain't big enough to to eat. Yeah, he's. I'm gonna turn him loose, man. Let's see here, guys. Just turn him loose. I'm out of here he goes. That was a pretty good trip. You know, I got my PB trout so far. It's a pretty good one. You know, and he had a hook down his throat, so I don't think that fish probably would have lived. You know, I missed a lot of fish on that power bait, not being able to get the slack out of my hook set. And that's a long cast in that current, man, and that's a whole lot of slack you got to get out. The thing with the power bait, with me most of the time, is I can generally throw that power bait all day and, and, and get bites on it, you know, pretty steady. The Joe Fly, I caught four back to back to back to back, and then that's it. They wouldn't bite it no more. But the power bait, it gives you an opportunity to catch them, you know, but you got to fish that current. Learn how to get the angles and everything on that current and let that drift down through there. And if you're using a slip rig or a Carolina rig on these trout, make sure your power bait floats. Because if it don't float, it defeats the whole purpose. That's gonna do it for me. I've had a good day. Uh, go home, get some dinner. I've had a blessed day. And we'll holler at you.